So that was Fight For Me uh, off their first record, which they have a, they had a full-length record right out the gate uh, called Connections. Uh, that is up on Spotify. Do you guys have it on iTunes? Yes, ma'am. And you do have the physical copies it shows. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, you know, we'll talk about a show you might be playing soon sometime oh, yeah. coming up. But uh, before that, let's uh, now that we kind of got our uh, dots, uh, eyes dotted and cheese crossed, crossed. Uh, get back into talking about you guys so yeah. you started playing music you said uh, you know like you've been playing for a while but you really started writing your own like two years ish yeah ago. so um what really happened uh so i've been playing i started playing guitar when i was like five years old because uh, my brother played guitar and i was very jealous and you know wanted to be cool too uh so what happened was uh i kind of piled on more instruments as i got older um and i kind of always sang mm -hmm. you know i sang in the school choir in elementary school um, i saw you in a dress in the little mermaid you did see that let's not talk about that okay um <laughs> that's a different life uh but that thespian uh, life though that, the thespian life yeah um so uh as i got older i kind of needed some kind of creative outlet to kind of deal with some problems that i had <laughs> um right uh dealing with anxiety and other things like that and then uh, the really big catalyst for Callaway Circus was I went through a really bad breakup mm -hmm. um, in the middle of my sophomore year. Uh, so that kind of like gave me the extra push to kind of like complete all these kind of songs I had sort of demoed out or anything like that. So once I kind of, you know, got myself through that, I kind of really just put my head down and finished uh, writing and recording everything alone which is kind of a lonely process you know when i look back on it it was really lonely and like you can t kind of tell that with the album um in some aspects of it yeah i i can i then now that you say it i can now see that, I that, said but that yeah um but um so after that the whole shindig and i was like originally i was like you know what do i do do i post this as oh this is ben mcginnis because i did this all by myself but then i was like well then no it to me it just it's it's hard to care when someone's like, I'm Ben McGinnis, like, these are my, mm -hmm. like, it doesn't seem right. as cool for mm -hmm. some, like, because, like, especially when you're in high school and you're like, I posted an album, they're like, it's cool. not cool if it just says Ben McGinnis, mm -hmm. you know? So, and I did kind of want a full band. I right. wasn't sure if that was going to be a thing, but I did want a full band. So, uh, the, you know, the band name and everything happened, kind of, I figured I wanted to have some big, kind of collective aesthetic kind of mm -hmm. all vibe that everything kind of meshed together um and that's kind of brought us to like our whole our and it's, thing it's a big fish reference too right oh uh, yeah the, the name is from uh the movie big fish uh, which that's a great movie i yeah. love that movie oh, yeah, i love, I love you and mcgregor movie. anyway but yeah it's a great movie yeah so. um uh it big uh cali circus is where the main character meets uh, his lady uh yeah and then he work he doesn't know her though right. um so he works there for three years he works really hard just to find out like where she goes to school mm -hmm. um so for me when i first released the album i was a sophomore in high school so i figured i had three years tops to um achieve something so i figured working hard for three years was going to get me there so well i'd say you're well on your way yeah and uh <laughs> you know you picked up alec and his genius self along the way as well you guys you got you got a good duo going so yeah. why don't you why don't you show us a little bit what you do yeah uh, you guys gonna start off with a uh, what what uh, this song's called Amateur Anthem. Amateur Anthem? Yeah. That sounds fitting. We've, we've opened with this very many times. I, I've heard it a couple times, yeah. but let's let everybody who may not have, let's, um, let's let them hear it now. Yeah, this, so. this song is actually the first song I finished for Cowboy Circus, like, ever. Um, and it's uh, it's just about, like, being, like, a local band where no one really cares about you. <laughs> so, awesome. Yeah, really optimistic. All right, so whenever you're ready. All right. Sing it loud, sing it proud, sing your M 
So yeah, that was amateur anthem, and uh, that that was fantastic. Uh, I uh, have just been informed that we do need to cut for time, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, oh, I just had a side of my headphones cut out. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and play a track by uh, one of the artists that's playing on the show. We're getting ready to come uh, announce right after uh, the break, so uh, we'll go into it. This is a song called "Remember the Makeout Kids," and we will be right back with Callaway Circus. <laughs> 